I get that. What's going on with that lady in the back? It's just how. Um, okay. <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Super Seducer 2. So uh, thank you to the legend over here, the creator of this game, Mr. Richard LaRuina, actually granted me a game key to play this. I, I just want to be perfectly clear that I'm going to be 100% honest in what I see in this game. So please do not copy strike me because I would like to be honest and I don't want to lie when I actually play games. Um, so even if my criticism seems harsh, don't don't think it as an attack to you, Mr. Laruna. It's actually just me critiquing the game as a video game player. Regardless of that, anyway, if anyone doesn't know what this game is, it's basically a pickup artist kind of game. It's supposed to show you how to pick up the ladies. I don't know if you can pick up the gentleman, you know? That would be nice for us bisexuals, but you know, whatever. So I have not played the first game. I have watched other people let's play the game. And you know, I was a little bit Skeptical about it. I guess that's the word <laughs> um, But he did say he improved on this he listened to people's feedback and he made it better So I'm gonna go into this game blind and try not to judge mr. LaRuina's techniques right away because I don't know anything You know what I mean, but I want to I want to be open-minded with this in that in that regard if you guys would like to get the game yourself I'll have a link in the description for whatever reason you want if you want to download it or whatever Oh my god, as you can hear the hesitancy as I am trying to like not judge. All right, let's start Whoa, hello and welcome to super seducer. Hey Richard. Two. How's it going We're back bigger and better? <laughs> I listened to your feedback and we've made a number of improvements. Wow, that's the great. The thing is ethnic diversity. Whoa. We've got Asian characters, black characters, Arab characters, and even a Scottish guy. Wow, a also white guy. <laughs> feedback, and now you can actually play levels from a chick's perspective. Oh. Finally, I'm joined by Charlotte. Really? Hi everyone, and I'm here to try and give a little bit of a female perspective on things. Hope you all enjoy the game. I am interested in the Press female off, perspective. I, I want to see how accurate it is. Also, Mr. LaRuina, you don't have to call them chicks. You could just say a woman's perspective like a normal person. <laughs> okay, so I don't know exactly how long this game is, but I am interested in seeing the female side. So hopefully this isn't creepy. I'm sorry, the first game that I saw from all the Let's Plays I've watched, they were very creepy. I, I know like he had some good advice like on how to approach people and how not to be weird. I understand the premise of that, like the wrong answers were to show like what not to do but some of it was creepy I'm not gonna lie okay so I hope this one is less creepy and actually has something valuable I don't know let's begin <laughs> chapter selection holy crap there's so many chapters in here all right anyway we're gonna do posh toddy versus supermodel oh dear god all right okay I'm gonna read this in a very sensual voice because you know that's super seducer for you she just stepped off a yacht, but the supermodel is just too sexy. The choice is yours. Goal, a number, sex, or kill your enemies. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> when did kill your enemies become a part of the game? What are you talking about, sir? I'm so confused. Okay, apparently we're gonna murder someone in a forest. I, I, I don't know. Um, Jesus Christ, what are we, a secret agent? What's going on? Um, I, I don't know what's happening. Sure, there's just a giant tank. Let's go with that. Wow, drifting. <laughs> Mr. LaRuina, what are you doing in that tank? <laughs> Good lord. Damn, how rich is this guy? He can just like ride his fucking tank around. God, what a seducer. Check that. You see, that's how you know you're a pickup artist. If, you, if you're the ultimate pickup artist, you have a tank. And no one can fuck with you. <laughs> you just get mad puss, apparently. Oh my god. By the way, I'm sorry guys, I don't think there's any subtitles uh, for this, so I can't turn it on. So, sorry about that. <laughs> this guy was so shook, he spilled coffee on himself. <laughs> fuck. Damn, check him out, he's eating them oranges. What a sensual man. He's getting looks from all the ladies and the men too. Hey. I 
I still don't understand why we have to kill enemies in this. Like, when did this- <laughs> uh, I, I'm loving this already. This is great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He, he got the eyebrow thing going on, you know? Wait! Wait, wait, ha hang on one second. Was he supposed to sit there or did he just sit at some random person's table and be like, Hey, I'm gonna flirt with you now. Oh my god. <laughs> or imagine he's not sitting from any like anyone's table. He's just be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you know, I understand the whole... You know, it's kind of emphasized, because, like, in real life, let's be honest here, you're not going to stare creepily at someone and be like... Like that? No. No one does that, okay? <laughs> That's just straight up weird. Um, so I understand that this is a game, it's totally exaggerated. I don't want anyone to think, like, everything in this game, everything that Richard Laruna says is, like, 100% accurate. Just want to put that out there, because I know some people are going to be like, this is so weird. And it's true, it is weird, but then again, look at the games that I play on my channel, okay? Alright, how to approach her? We got gaze into her eyes while beckoning her with your fingers? Your finger as if it's a penis! <laughs> Use a genius conversation story from that YouTube guy. Catch her attention non-verbally. Don't approach her and I'll eat a kumquat, okay? You know, I would do that in reality. Go and tell her that she caught your eye and you can join her for a few minutes. Okay. Obviously, this game is supposed to teach you right from wrong, okay? That was the premise of the first game. Just for jokes, I want to know what happens if I choose the penis option. <laughs> How bad is this gonna get? Yo, dude. Richard, tuck in your shirt! What's going on there? <laughs> immediately leave <laughs> Jesus Christ Woo <laughs> yeah Oh whoa you did it you chose the very first red option in the game congratulations <laughs> Dumbass obviously you don't put your little finger through your trousers and wiggle it around like a dick <laughs> Yo what is he holding a flare Mr. LaRuina, you're, you've updated the game. I will give you props to that. Like, the production value of, like, this one so far is a lot better than the first one. So I'll give you props there. Okay, anyway, for real. Um, I don't know. Like, for me as, like, a woman's per se, if, if a man is just, like, wants to talk to me, I'm already, like, I already have anxiety issues, so I don't want anyone to fucking talk to me. So in reality, I wouldn't want anyone to approach me just straight out of the blue, especially if I'm trying to enjoy something. That's just from my opinion. But this game is probably going to be like, go and tell her, like, hey, I think you're attractive. Can I sit here? At least you're asking. But I prefer if no one fucking approaches me. Let's just go with this, though. Nice shoes you got on there, Mr. LaRuina. I'm just gonna keep calling him that. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm very good. How are you? Good to hear. Well, I'm very, very well. Listen, um, I was just sitting there, saw you, and thought I'd come and say hi. Hello. See how, like, uncomfortable she feels? This is a direct way to start, and I think in this situation it's pretty cool. Um, whenever you're approaching a woman in front of her friends or in a public place, uh, she would at least appreciate that you're very confident if you can go up and, and do it like that versus, you know, having a little weaselly way to do it. Yeah, I think if you can show confidence from the get-go, that always puts you in a better position. In a way, yeah, but I so feel like... Hi. I don't know, I'm I guess because I'm a different person, Charlotte, right? It's different yeah. for everybody. Yes, it is. Oh, lovely yeah. to meet you. Well, at least she's not <laughs> creeped out, so that's good. Hello, I already to order. Okay, tell her not to bother you. You are an important car- That- do not be rude to waitresses. Oh my god, I cannot stand people who are rude to waitresses. They fucking get paid poorly and they have to deal with shit all the time. Do not be rude to waitresses, okay? If you, if you can, be nice to the waiter or waitress, because like, I know what that's like. I used to work in food services, so don't treat them like shit. They're having an awful time with their job. I guarantee you that. <laughs> don't be mean to them. Um, order a tea, cake, or something for her. That's not nice to assume. 
Um, I'll have a piece of cake. The lady will be eating my dick. Oh, God. <laughs> Say, hey, babe, the usual, please. Do not do that either. Do not be creepy. You know what? Everything's on the menu. Suck. Let's go back to my place. No. I don't think you should take a shot because that's really random. It's just to be like, hey, I'm going to get some tea cake. Also, give me a shot of vodka. <laughs> Why the hell not? That's so weird. Let's go with the normal one. So, do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. I'm uh -huh. going to go for the chocolate cheesecake. Very nice. <gasps> naughty. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm gonna have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea. Tea, no, tea, no. everybody, tea right now. <laughs> See, that way you don't look like a fucking weirdo. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's well, quite romantic. I mean, I guess, right? I think it's also a matter of like, I don't have to pay for shit, <laughs> so. Sorry. Brother called me urgently. Oh, someone, someone's uh, dying? What's happening? Oh, okay, well, you know, uh, the thing is, this is not really a date, right? Cause like, they're not really on a date. They just kind of like met each other. I think it's kind of rude to be like, what if your friend is like in danger? You just met this person and you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna ignore my friend. He, he could be dying, but I'm a I just met this pretty lady and we're having cake and tea. Lottie, I hate to do this, but I've got something really urgent. So it's lovely to meet you and all that, but I've got to go. <laughs> so um, awkward. Bye. <laughs> Why oh, did he do it like that? He could have been like, I'm sorry, I have an emergency. I gotta, I'll be right back or something like that. Why did he leave like that? Richard, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you in the middle of the field? Buddy, what's so urgent? There is a YouTube convention, my friend, and now is your chance. Ooh, who's there exactly? The vice journalists? Great. Oh, God. Hefty Jack? Awesome, perfect. Boogie? Ah, he's quite likable. Tim Sterling? Fucking shit. <laughs> Alpha Rad, friend without benefits. I like those guys too. There is also the mini mint there. Yeah. <laughs> what email. the hell, man? I know he has beef well, with Jim Sterling. I'm sorry, but I'm a fan of Jim Sterling. I like his reviews and stuff. So. Lisa, bring me my special briefcase. What the hell are you talking? What is going? Is he just double agent or something? This is so random. My God. <laughs> She's a pretty lady. She kind of looks like Hayden Panettiere. That's who she reminds me of. What is going on? Richard LaRuina, when did you become a spy? I didn't know that. <laughs> what is up with his face? <laughs> the dude, the that acting is like top notch in this game. <laughs> what is going on? What happened? Why did it quit like that? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so I went back. Let's see what happens if I ignore the friend randomly who gave the briefcase or whatever. I don't even know what's happening there. And see if we just talk with the lady. Sorry about that. Just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. That's very polite. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> you know what? It's such a lovely day and you're dressed amazingly. It's all summery, but it's She looks like she's dressed it, for like fall, but okay. Interesting style you have. For spring. Nice. <laughs> it's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. What do I do? I pick up the ladies. <laughs> um, I work wonders in bed. Oh dear God. Uh, marketing manager, and I make YouTube videos. And but I really love poetry. I work for a pharmaceutical company, and make YouTube videos. Truth. Distractor and do the ring finger D D H V routine instead. What the hell does that mean? I make enough to give you five hundred right now if you'll come home with it. Do oh my god, that is so creepy. Never say that to anyone. Make a joke then tell the truth. I'm a mumble rapper. Oh my god. I mean, let's be honest here. I prefer if someone if someone was to tell me like about them. So I prefer they tell the truth because if they straight up lie and then we actually end up in a relationship, what does that tell you for the rest of the relationship? You know what I mean? So let's be honest. Well, I've got two things. The okay. the first is uh, pharmaceuticals business. Wow, you must be very intelligent. What 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 oh, in the pharmaceuticals do you do exactly? Well, we just have different drugs for different ailments and 
illnesses and conditions. So okay. that's the business, you know, like normal pharmaceuticals business. Yeah. Second thing's a little bit different is uh, YouTube. So I make YouTube videos. Oh, that is exciting. I, that's, that sounds <laughs> that's not a very fake reaction <laughs> from like telling someone side you do YouTube the videos. Sides, you know, yeah. The business side. Oh my I've got God. All videos and um, have to make like a new one every Tuesday. And wow. Yeah, just trying to grow the channel. Yo, subscribe to Richard LaRuin on YouTube, everybody. <laughs> Good on you. Thank you. Brilliant. That's a, she had like a nice reaction to him. Like, oh my god. That's good. Correct option. Yeah, I mean, telling the truth is always fine, right? Yeah, I think there's nothing wrong with being honest. How long do these people have to stand here, though? Really. Like, for real. Check out this guy. He's like, what the fuck? Why am I here? <laughs> what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work, but I do a spot of acting. Ah, Ooh. lovely. You know, yeah. something interesting well, I mean, I've she noticed. Is I've met same. some actors. And they're always very interesting people because they're empathetic. And that's, Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions. So uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way she to a method actor <laughs> on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. Yeah, <laughs> and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people. But because of this, you can really you can get feel it and yeah. you can get the vibe it's amazing excellent but it's yeah. a very cool job actually yeah it is it's, it's nice to dip in and out hmm. obviously what the hell's going on hey do you recognize her in the car yes i do i think who is I she think it's that famous russian model what's her name i don't know <laughs> what she's, she's not, isn't she yeah not bad wow <laughs> what is going on what <laughs> Okay, first of all, first of all, that is very random. Um, we don't know this. And that's so rude to leave this go. We're having like a nice conversation. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'll be right back and go talk to the Russian model in the car. No, we're gonna talk to this freaking girl right here because that's so rude. Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting is much more interesting. Right? <laughs> don't say that! <laughs> yeah, I, I, so much I, more varied. Mm -hmm. It is. Did well, she just stop for Mr. LaRuna to get in her car? Yeah. Acting, you have to Feel. We have to show certain personality yeah. and be different characters Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. just feel that emotion. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened? So you're acting. Does that mean you're more interested than usual in, I don't know, like TV shows and stuff? Do you watch well, TV? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, um, I, I like, uh, Silicon Valley, actually. Is That's that your favorite? favorite? I've never seen that. At the moment. I've never seen it's that. It's basically like, really intelligent guys that love technology are you like intelligent guys i do i, I think everybody likes intelligent guys. people you know what i mean to an extent well, i'm not a programmer but i've got my own kind of business own intelligence little ways and yeah smarts. well i think he's a you know, double I'm agent everybody agent. i know richard i know your secret you're a spy <laughs> so i need to end up with someone of my standard cool um so yeah i just love the way they invent things um, yeah. and i think i'd be quite good at that as well so yeah, that's a, a Silicon Valley's way. What about you? Um, I like, I'm watching Handmaiden. Have you seen that? <gasps> oh, Handmaid. yeah. That is a good ass show. Yeah, yeah, good taste, Mr. Actually. La Ruina. But, that's a good show. Um, it's not a comedy, obviously. It's like some dystopian parallel future where everything uh, goes wrong, where women, um, when the birth rate just drops near zero, and they round oh, up all no. of the women that can still have babies. Yeah. And they kind of put them with the important. It's a really men fucked up to, show, to but make. the concept wow. is very interesting. And it's quite messed up, but it's really, really good and interesting. Have you seen it? No, you I, seen no, it? no, I haven't. Oh, you should check it out. Yeah, sounds quite interesting. I'd have to um, see if I like it. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a little bit. Yeah, it's not for everyone. I'll just admit that. I, I do like that show, though. Okay. Um, tell her to look under the table for a surprise. Spoiler alert, it's your dick. Oh, God. Tell her your latest video was dating advice for men. Talk about how cool it is to meet people like her that are not boring. I feel like that, that would put off, like, like a vibe to her. Be like, oh, like, you're kind of, like, shallow in a way. You know what I mean? Because some people don't exactly show their personality yet because they're not comfortable like me i don't tend to show my real personality right away to someone new because uh, it takes me a while to get comfortable to you know like be like i can be myself around this person so i think that's that's a pretty harsh judgment to be like oh you're not like boring a uh, spiker drink and uh, spiker drink with a drink to make her more co uh, compliant ew no why 
feed her some cake. That's so weird. No, can we talk about his like YouTube videos? All of these are fucking weird. I don't like this. I'll tell you something interesting. I just uploaded this new video to YouTube. It's doing really well already. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It's, um, She's so interested in his YouTube career. Tips. God damn, why can't people be like that with me? Give me a few dating tips. Well, I'd have to think, but this this one's for men, so it's not really that applicable to, oh, to right. women. Oh, right. Do you do them for women? I haven't yet. No. Because right. I'm a man and I kind of know the men's oh, side. But... Just a man, so you just stick to the men's things. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's oh, yeah. fair. Well, don't you think that's a bit you know? No. Misogynistic. Hmm? Chauvinistic? No. It's a bit like being a prick, really, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god! And his things trying to chat up girls. No. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm out. Alright. Yikes, yikes. I didn't even realize that was a person. Is she carrying a picnic basket? What is happening? Like that and make videos like that. See, okay, like, here, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll say something about this right now, like, it does kind of suck because I, I don't think Richard is, like, a bad person in real life, so I can see how, like, you know, upsetting it can be Dude, if you be sorry. like, hey, I make... I'm really sorry, but I think I had to ask you to leave our restaurant. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what do you mean, I have to go? And what did you say? Yeah. I'm banned. You're banned. What? Yeah. You're banned for making <laughs> for making YouTube videos. You're banned. Jesus! Holy shit, that's pretty harsh, dude. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. That's so random. Um, no, but what I was trying to say is like I can see how uh, What? I mean, should be alright, but obviously not in, in the world today. No dating advice. What is this game turning into? Just be yourself, be confident. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay. What I was trying to say was like it it does kind of suck because like okay, let's take out Richard Laruna out of example. Let's just say some other guy who does like dating advice for men, and like I can understand the stigma of like ma I'm not gonna lie, majority of them are creepy because the whole like I said the whole intention is just like hey let's have sex with women, but some of them are not like that. Some are genuinely trying to help people to like find a relationship. So like I can see how like that would suck for someone who's like oh yeah I make videos to help men get relationships, and obviously your first intention would be like oh you make videos to help people like have sex with women so that's just making an assumption and like you shouldn't really do that to people regardless of the job it's like saying like you know um people who work in like the sex industry like rather in porn or whatever like sex work people automatically assume like oh you're a bad person because you do porn and that's not really true you know because i'm pretty sure like majority of these people who are in the porn industry are very nice people so that's very not it's not nice to like assume on that regard but like i can understand like the whole like first impression be like oh that's kind of weird you know what i mean but like I i'm the kind of person who doesn't like to judge right away you know so that i feel kind of bad that was just really random all of a sudden he got banned from the restaurant <laughs> that was so weird um okay um i don't know i, I don't think it's like I should say this, right? Because, like, if I feed her some cake, isn't that kind of weird? Because we just met this lady. Okay, let's see what happens. Mm -mm -mm, this cake looks lovely. It does. Wait, come. Why don't you try just a little bit before you try yours? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. See what I mean? It's yeah, so I weird. I, so then I would ha actually have to say, like, oh, you're so cool and you're not boring like other people. And that just kind of, like, is a hypocritical statement from what I was saying earlier. You know what I mean? Some good stuff. So, feeding you cake? No, feeding not you some a fruit? baby, thank you. But later, if there's some sexual tension? I think it's when you're like comfortable with the person, yeah, then you can I mean, start like feeding each other. Because if you like, straight up oh, feed a random person, they're gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? Really cool, Might work sometimes, yeah. but risky. Mm. Risky. Ooh. Good, yeah? Do you have any special diet restrictions, you know? Well, like, sometimes 
it's gluten intolerant. But, sometimes um, only. Yeah. Partial like, gluten intolerance. Yeah. yeah. It's like sometimes if I eat too much gluten, then uh, my stomach. Like, yeah, that is for some um, people. That's kind of like with me. I'm not lactose so intolerant, but if I have too much dairy, like I, um, I don't feel good. <laughs> yeah, I've been on the paleo diet before. Oh, that's healthy, yeah. Because in paleo times, everyone lived a long time, so it's good exactly. to make sense to do that. Uh -huh. And like when you look back, it's literally just vegetables and meat mm. the whole time, mostly meat. So I'm just constantly eating meat, which is delicious. Okay. He's gonna make a dick joke, isn't he? Yeah. Like one of the answers is gonna be a dick joke. Oh god. Okay. Anyway, play cards with her. Use a question from the Marcel Proust questionnaire. I don't know what that is. Use Brad P's 10 minute seduction questions. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know what any of these are though. What are these? I was reading this article and have you heard of Marcel Proust? The author. No, no, I haven't. He wrote a book, uh, Swan's Way or something. It's a uh, classic. And okay. he was talking about his life. And he came up with this questionnaire where he asked a bunch of questions. And it was actually really interesting. So for oh, example, wow. The f one of the questions was, what's your idea of perfect happiness? So, okay, it's not I creepy. I thought they were going to be like weird ass yeah, questions. Wow, what a question. Not to put you on the spot, but I it should know. be easy, right? It's happiness. Um, my idea of happiness would be on my boat mm -hmm. in the middle of the ocean. Oh, wow. Surrounding myself with Chanel handbags. Not wow. massive waves crashing down. Right? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 no. Just like a peaceful... Maldives. Peaceful like ocean. The Maldives would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. I do love. I actually That's nice. have in the Maldives. I guess. Oh, um, and I, I'm just out there, and I have my Chanel handbags around. And because you need them on the boat. Yeah. And, but That's so random. Why do you need that on the boat? Like, I, I would like a man. Yeah. On the boat with Should me. he be like tanned and sitting in his yeah bathing suit? Yeah, with his speedos on. Yeah, with <laughs> oh handbag. God. <laughs> Well, I don't mind. Oh yeah. He can have a handbag and then give it to me. Ah, a present. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this was a tricky one because we didn't let you know what the question would be. Yeah. But obviously, um, this one's pretty good and can lead to a good conversation. And in general, I would say that if you're going to be going on dates, you should ensure that you have a couple of interesting things to talk about and even having a few interesting questions like this in your back pocket I, is a I good thing I think that's fine so that you're not to like have running out of things to say. No, and it's a great way to open up a conversation. Because it's not like, weird. Like if you make it sexual, that's when it becomes weird. He was asking about like what's her like ideal so happiness, Richard? so that's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. What's your philosophy on life? I guess it's pretty simple, but it's taken me a long time to get there. But for me, it's all about finding the things I really enjoy in life mm -hmm. and doing more of them and finding the things that I don't like. I used to be bothered all the time with phone calls, um, oh. doing annoying stuff, filling in forms and all of that bureaucracy stuff I don't mm -hmm. like. So uh, just to arrange my life so that I'm happy with the way it is every day. Well, that's just, nice. Uh, I mean, like, you know, yeah, that's a nice thing to think about. Happy. So it's more harmonized yeah. and balanced as well. Yeah, and an absence of bad things is, is yeah. more important than having loads of good stuff. You know, if you just get rid of all the things you don't like, then you're left with I think it, it depends yeah, too. You can't get rid of everything magical. bad in your life, kind but you can have some like control over some bad things. So, that you don't have so I guess that's a good like way of looking at things. Your mood is kind of, I get that. You know. Yeah, I get that. What's going on with that lady yeah. in the back? It's just how. Um. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Take out your phone and start. <laughs> Filming it and just put it on fucking Twitter. Um, ignore it and carry on. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Help the granny up. I hope I won't ever be that old. I want to die young with you. <laughs> okay, obviously it would be to help the fucking woman instead of lying, letting her lie there. Is she alright there? Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah, okay. What happened to her? She just all of a sudden like took a dive. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Someone take her granny bag. Yeah. Someone take her granny bag. <laughs> what he was about to say. Oh, maybe, yeah. It might be the heat or something. Yeah, it's quite hot. Yeah. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah. 
I guess it's not a heart attack or something, is it? It's just no, it's not a heart attack. Fun, a funny turn, my granny used to call it. I've yeah. had a funny turn. It's just Jeez. a little funny so, turn. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't think it's That anything. was so random. I'm sorry. That was so know, random. Right. Yeah, she'll be okay. I need some water or something, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> well done for helping the granny and not leaving her there. Can I just say, I like the random scenarios in this game. They're a lot different from the first one. Because the first one was blatantly obvious you're trying to sleep with someone. This was just like a grandma fell over. There's a Russian model in the car. You know what I mean? It's so random. I had a couple this month. To me, it's much more enjoyable as a gamer. You know what I mean? So, like, I kind of like that, even though it's completely ridiculous. I think it's three, and then they shut you down, so... Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. Mm. Is he okay? Okay. Uh, say it's nothing serious, just a twinge. Uh, say that you were wearing a medical corset, and the doctor said you can finally take it off tonight. <laughs> what? Uh, it finally... Uh, it happened when I was picking up a baby that was walking... Um, that was walking on the all on the road. What lie? Tell her that your body is pretty fucked and but your dick works perfectly. <laughs> These are so weird. But I think I'll just if I were in that situation, I'd be like, oh, I'm just like you know sitting wrong or whatever. It's no biggie. It's just a bit of a twinge, you know, in the back. I think it happened. I did some gym and then I went out feeding the squirrels and I'm like oh. bending forward. What you feed squirrels? <laughs> what kind of? Yeah, you are right. just it's pumping not iron not and then all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, let's go feed the squirrels outside. It's amazing. It right. Yeah. No one likes Amona. No, no. Guys with physical ailments. You know. oh, ones that whine about it. You don't want to be hanging around with someone who's whining. Well, I think that's in general, not just men. You know what I mean? I don't like being around people no, who just. Thing from all, that's all they talk about. They just complain. I was for a long time, so. So I had Chinese lessons. I was I'm learning Chinese. Really? Yeah, yeah, because it's a hard uh, language. I think it's the dark souls of languages. It's, so I thought. It's, Chinese is pretty hard, and English is pretty hard as well. Uh, Whoa, you're good! Holy <laughs> shit! I'm impressed, yo! What the hell? Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. His pronunciation sounds. I, I'm not Chinese, so I don't fucking know, but like his pronunciation sounds pretty good. For someone who's learning Chinese. And I said, like, I speak Chinese, but not very well. And yeah. That's really impressive. Rich Richard, you're impressing me so far. <laughs> um. Find a superficial uh, commonality hypnotizer with your teacup. <laughs> if you could wake up anywhere in the world, where would it be? Commit a crime act together and to bond with her. That is so weird. Wait, can I see what hypnotizing with your teacup looks like? And you know what, Charlotte? I find tea to be very, very relaxing. Sometimes just the thought what is this Some ASMR tea. all of a sudden? <laughs> or the sound of the spoon. Yo, the Richard, you know I have a, a YouTube idea for you. You should do ASMR. Yeah. Aside from your like your pickup yeah. artist thing, you should do ASMR. That's right. As you listen, you might notice the eyelids start to feel heavy what the hell is happening they can close it feels good <laughs> that's right oh now, my god i want you to notice that you have strong feelings <laughs> of attraction towards me you're trying to hypnotize the lady to be, <laughs> be with you <laughs> Inside. Oh my god. As you drift down deeper. Good girl. Now, whenever I touch my cup, it will be more and more attracted. <laughs> what? In a if some guy did this to me, I'd be you. like, what the hell are you doing? So count from one to ten. You'll slowly come back to me. This lady, you know, like, right completely time. fell for the hypnotizing teacup. One. Two. Three. Slowly coming back, feeling the wind. Four. <laughs> I don't 
don't five, understand what is going six. on. Back to your body. Feeling more and more awake. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> ten. There you go. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Did you fall asleep there for a second? Were you daydreaming? Yeah. How do you feel? What? <laughs> so obviously this is exactly the thing to do on a date. Um, if it's not going so well, or even if it is... What do you mean this is exactly what you're going to do on a date? What are you talking about? Look at everybody in the path, they're confused. I can. Definitely, do you believe me? No. I bet you $100 I can hypnotize you. Okay, go for it. No, let's just shake on it first. Okay. And sleep. Get off. And sleep. <laughs> what is going on? Great. Look at this woman in the back. She's like, what is wrong with yeah. Richard? But you shouldn't do it as well. Obviously not hypnotizing people on a date. Even if you can do it. And even I agree with that. That just makes no sense no, whatsoever. That work though? What? <laughs> It's a game though, everybody, it's a game, so it's gonna be ridiculous at some point. Oh, another lady. You like big oh, this is the lady from the first game! What? That's the one where he whipped his dick out of the club. If anyone played the first one, like, he was at the club and he saw these two ladies, and, like, there's one, like, option where you can, like, show your dick, and he whips it out, and that lady was there. <laughs> Oh my god, cameo! Um, probably complain you slept with her. No. Um, hide from her. Give her a little wave. I mean, if you hide from her, isn't that kind of like... Wave, I guess? Hey, Anastasia. Hey. Oh How god, this doing? is so you awkward. So nice. Great dress. How's your flower shop? How's Anna? Um... <laughs> She's telling him about what he did at the club! <laughs> um, bye, nice to see you. What, what'd she say? She said that you got a small dick <laughs> and, um, you can't sing. No, bad move. Um, not gonna end well. Not gonna end well there. That's really funny that they put that in there. Tell her that, in fact, you don't have a small deck. Tell her that you have a really small deck and joke about it. Tell her that you're sing, and if your your singing is good, then it must mean your dick is huge. Say that you're jealous. Say that she, it's your jealous ex, and she always does that. If we take it into the scenario of like this, we can just say like she's a jealous ex girlfriend, and she always does that. Cause like talking about your dick is like really not appropriate. Let's be real here. I don't listen to her, you know, we were dating for a while and she just was a bit of a nut job, so yeah, um, yeah I thought she was going to be nice, but she was just trying to cause me problems. We dated and everything was good. Sometimes that can happen though. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, for real though, some people Sometimes are really nuts after you break up with them. <laughs> did, you, did you end it with her? Yeah, she wanted, well, she, yes, but for the right reasons. So she was, you know, good girl, all of that stuff, but then she became super serious, super jealous, controlling, calling me all the time, where are you, what are you doing? And she was a bit of a bunny boiler. Okay, didn't give you your space. No, and even worse yeah. than that, yeah. Well, well considering you whipped out your dick it. at the club, I don't know. Yeah, okay. It seems like she's still on it, because it was quite a while ago, wow. over a year. Maybe you should get a restraining order on her or something. Maybe so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, restraining order! And just, yeah, yeah I'll try, it. maybe on date, another date, we could try. Yeah, sure. In this case, you know, it's really hard to come up with a winning answer, and that's probably the best of a bad bunch to dig yourself out of the hole. Yeah, because she couldn't be really anything else. Otherwise you can't really say anything to defend yourself in that regard, down, so it's kind of true. In regards to this game, like, in real life, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so, are you single? Yeah, I am actually. Currently single. And you? Yeah. That's good. Um... Do you fancy meeting again? Hey! Hey! You are agenda fluid and you can meet anytime. Agenda fluid. Oh my god.
Tell her that she better meet you again or you will kill her yourself. Or you will kill yourself. Wow, that is- Don't say that. That's guilt tripping. Also very extreme and creepy. So you're just feeding squirrels together or maybe just me for a drink. Say your Pornhub premium <laughs> subscription is about to roll over. You'll need to buy another year if we don't get it on. Okay, I don't know. It's between these two. Um... You can meet any time or just say, let's feed squirrels together, maybe meet for a drink. I feel like this is- does this sound weird? Be like, hey, you wanna feed squirrels with me? Or like, maybe we can get a drink or something? So let's definitely meet again soon. Mm -hmm. We could- what could we do together? We could go feed squirrels together? Yeah. I'd love to feed like the squirrels. squirrels. Yeah, why not? Excellent. Or just go for a drink. Yeah, one or the other. Next thing. Okay, yeah. cause I'm like, yeah, it's kinda random. Nice one, the classic squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> this man has like a squirrel <laughs> fetish. The ladies for sure. Right? But of course, He's always going for it. Let's go feed the squirrels. Like squirrel feeding night. Excellent. Yeah. I just get the check actually. Thanks. So, what's your plans for the coming week? You busy? Um. Well, I have a spa treatment. Oh hey, um, yeah. Just one. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I have them like once a week. Um, Damn, right you're now, lucky. I'm jealous. Uh, I've got a shopping trip actually with my mother. Well, that's all so. nice stuff. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've got Pilates class as well. Damn, so this lady's busy. Jesus. Or or well, better life than me. <laughs> that's true, actually. Yeah. yeah, could be. Okay, you pay because you are the gentleman. You suggest that she pays, and you'll get the next one. Play five lies to see who pays. Go to the toilet uh, so she needs to pay. Okay, in in my opinion, I know it's very like quote unquote old fashioned to be like, hey, the man pays and whatever. To me, I don't really see it like that. Like for me, it's like I'll pay for my stuff and you pay for yours. Um, and whatever. Uh, cause like I I really I really never thought of, even like when me and Adam like go in and stuff like it. He always wants to pay and I'm always like, don't. I don't know. I just always feel like like you don't have to like do that. That's just me though. Should I? Oh, no, 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 of course not. No, stop that. Let, I'll get this. My treat. Thank you. And I'll put in a nice tip for the guy, because he wasn't bad. Yeah, you have to give tips so to the waiter and waitresses, yeah, damn it. I'll Good for you. The next time they remember you. They do. It's true, because if you come in back, they're going to be like, oh, that's the, the nice guy who gave me tips. Pay if it's his invitation. I agree, and I agree on the other hand as well, actually. If a woman has specifically invited something, you know, it's nice to... I think it's nice either or, you know, if, you, if you've invited someone to an event, it's, you know, I don't... I think it's your place. Definitely, because you can't say, come out to this fancy restaurant with right. me. By the way, you're paying. No, but I don't mind Dutch either. <laughs> Which is splitting it. That's splitting it. Yeah, see? I'm glad that the, the, there's a lady here to address it. Like, it's okay if the lady wants to pay her half as well. That's very good. I'm glad there's, a, like, a woman in this game who can, like, give the female perspective, I guess. <laughs> anyway, obviously, they don't... Richard doesn't speak for all men, and the lady, I don't know her name, doesn't speak for all women, obviously. But, like, it's nice to see that in this kind of game. Even though the whole point of it is to pick up women. But it's just nice to see, like, hey, you don't have to pay for everything. I can do half. Um, ask if she has other slutty friends for different days of the week. Take her number, arrange a meeting again. No, no, let's just take her number, damn it. So we should definitely meet again soon. Why don't I give you my phone and just unlock it? And you can just put your number in there and I'll be in touch. <sighs> because you've hypnotized her. Yeah, because um, what you do is during the hypnosis you establish an anchor, which <laughs> is. Like We're a, still in the hypnosis or thing. An or something. And then when you do that again later, it re-triggers the hypnotic state and she slips right back into the trance. Mm -hmm. so that's, what the that's fuck the are you talking about, dude? What? <laughs> but... But morally... Morally, don't hypnotize your dates. Slightly worrying if you do. Yeah, Yeah. okay, I'm glad they addressed that. Because, like, honestly, sometimes people need to yeah, say the obvious because some people don't know right from wrong, as really anymore. stupid as that yeah. is. People would probably try to hypnotize, like, random people to date them. Um, Honestly. Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, you were just going to put your number in. Yeah, of course. You want to meet again? Yes, of course I want to meet you. Yeah. You're so lovely. There you go. Richard wasn't creeping this okay. aside from like the Probably majority the of the right like, let's ignore the bad ones. Absolutely. Majority of the right it's, answers were not, not creepy, so I do appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. What are you looking at the camera like that for? What the hell? 
Oh my god. Okay, so I guess that was like chapter one. Okay, I, I have some things to say about this game so far. Like, I, I'm, I know I'm not like taking it completely seriously. I think that's obvious with any fucking video I've done on YouTube. I don't take anything seriously. But like, the premise of having like a pickup artist, like, I, for me, I've always never really liked them just because obviously their whole intention is to like teach people how to get women. It's m more specifically for straight males, um, but they're, it's generally teaching them how to get women, how to have sex and blah blah blah, how to get someone to have sex with you. That's the general premise and that's why I've always been like, ugh, every time I see them on YouTube. Look, I don't know Richard personally or anything like that. I'm sure he's a nice person uh, in real life and everything, but as for me, I don't really like the whole pickup artist thing. I will be completely honest about that. I don't really like that. Um, but I can appreciate this game in the fact that he's showing you not to be creepy in some ways, because some people don't know how to like not be creepy. Like some people don't have boundaries. Like they'll actually like whip out their dick. Or if you've seen like people like on the internet they always send dick pics and like no one asks for them it's just like why are you doing that not even men it's like women too send like naked pictures and like no one asked for that why are you giving this to me so i'm glad that you know he's actually putting in the game to be like don't talk about your dick don't show your dick that's not okay especially to someone you just met because that's just really weird honestly if someone came up to you and be like hey you want to suck my dick i don't think i don't think you would really like that in reality um, but I can- I can enjoy the comedy of this game so far. I can really enjoy it because like I, I do think it's really funny and you know I'll give him props to like giving up the you know better quality since his first game and it's it's very funny because like this game came out the same year his first one came out so you know props to you on like finishing it on on time and stuff like that and like i do appreciate that he took people's advice and being like we want like a like a woman's perspective so i'm excited to play the woman's side of this game um so i guess that kind of leaves it up to you guys if you want me to continue this as a series i would love to continue the whole game and let's play it for you all just to see like what kind of shenanigans mr labruna will come into because that was so random that one where he had like a briefcase and blew up like i don't know what's going on there that was really weird um but for sure i would love to uh let's play this and then maybe in the future i can do a, a version where i play all the bad choices because i would love to see that too i think it would be really funny if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like let me know in the comments if you want me to continue and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when i upload super seducer 2 again if i do and i just want to give a shout out to richard laruna and his uh you know developers and stuff like that for giving me a game key to play this game um i can tell this is gonna be a wild ass ride <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say anyway i'll see you all in the next video bye whoa whoa <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this guy, this guy does not hold back. He's just like, let me just grab him and kiss. And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six, Pole and Elsa.